हेलो सिविल इंजीनियर्स दिस इज जुबैर वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट शल थिन एंड मेम्ब्रेन टाइप ऑफ स्लैब इन ई टैप्स ओके सो इन ई टैप्स वाइल डिफाइनिंग द स्लैब विल गेट टाइप्स ऑफ मॉडलिंग यू कैन सी योर हियर शल थिन शल थिक मेम्ब्रेन एंड लेयर टाइप सो जनरली वी आर यूजिंग शल थिन और मेम्ब्रेन so we'll see difference between shell thin and membrane okay so here we have two models so for one model i have taken shell thin type of slab you can see over here and for another model i have taken membrane type of slab okay so here i'll run this structure okay i'll go I'll just go to analyze run this structure we can see the behavior both of them so here the analysis has been done so you can see over here this is shell thin type of slab and this is membrane type of slab so here we are getting uh, exact behavior of this structure in shell thin type of slab we are getting exact exact behavior of structure so what happens Uh, in ET apps, when we assign slab, in ET apps, when we assign slab type as a membrane, it only transfer forces. What? If you assign membrane type of slab, it only transfer forces to supporting beams. Okay. It does not take part in load bearing. It does not take any part in load bearing. Total force, total load. it transfer to the supporting uh, elements okay in shell thin when we assign shell thin type of slab they take part in load bearing they take part in load bearing along with the load transfer to the supporting beam it will take some part of load and then it it transfer the some of load to the uh, supporting elements due to this it reduces the sagging in the beams you can see over here it reduces the sagging in the beam here we are getting sagging less sagging in beams here we are getting more sagging in the beams okay in shell thin type of slab uh, it will transfer the moment slab to the beams it transfer to transfer the moment slab to the beams but in membrane type of slab there is no bending there is no any bending moment okay so one more thing uh, in membrane type of slab in membrane type of slab it only takes in plane bending stiffness okay it only takes in plane bending stiffness and uh, it does not take any out of plane bending stiffness out of plane bending stiffness in shell thin type of slab it take both in plane and out of plane stiffness bending stiffness in plane and out of plane bending stiffness okay and what is in plane and out of plane bending stiffness uh, we can see over here so this is our slab this is this slab okay so here i am applying Uh, dead load plus live load. Dead load plus live load. These these loads are applying perpendicular to the slab. Perpendicular to the slab surface. Okay, perpendicular to the slab surface. This is out of plane loading. This is what out of plane loading. Okay, uh, along the axis of the slab. We apply load along the axis of this slab. This is in plane loading. This is what in plane loading. In generally, membrane can have only axial stiffness. Generally, what membrane can have only axial stiffness, no bending stiffness. You can see over here. You can see the behavior of slab. Here we don't have any bending stiffness, bending in shell uh, membrane type of slab. Uh, but uh, in shell Thin type of slab, we can have both 
axial stiffness as well as bending stiffness as well as what bending stiffness uh, you can see uh, the bending moment uh, if uh, i'll keep it in what i'll take this some bending moment over here so i'll keep this m22 uh, slab stresses you can see this is the membrane here we have zero bending moment you can see here here we have zero bending moment but in shell thin type of slab we are we are getting some bending moment we are getting somewhat uh, bending moment okay and next thing is in membrane type of slab in membrane type of slab uh, have three degree of freedom at per node have three degree of freedom at per node uh, one is uh, uh, two degree of uh, in plane translational and one one is corresponding to the out of plane rotation out of plane rotation we can see over here this is this lab this is this lab okay here in membrane type of slab there is only 3 degree of freedom one is rotational rz another one is translational in ui ui and ux ui and ux uh, ux and ui are the translational you can say deflection deflection and rx is the rotation rx is the rotation okay in membrane type of slab we have only uh, three degree of freedom ux u uh, ui and rz translational in translation in x direction translation in y direction rotation in z direction rotation in z direction but what happens uh, in shell thin type of slab in shell thin type of slab uh, we are having okay we are having we are having six degree of freedom we are having what six degree of freedom you can see over here this is ux ui this is ux this is rz uz okay rx ry means uh, translational in x direction translation in y direction translation in z direction again rotation in x direction rotation in y direction rotation in z direction so shell thin type of slab will give exact behavior shell thin, shell thin type of slab will give what exact behavior this is the reason we are using uh, shell thin type of uh, slab okay this is the reason we are using shell thin type of slab again the shell thin captures the bending stresses okay the shell thin captures the bending stresses as well as membrane stresses while membrane ignores the bending you can see over here membrane ignores the bending okay membrane ignores the bending and one more thing uh, membrane slab can use for conventional slab membrane type of slab can be used use conventional type of slab if you are assigning one way slab so uh, it will just transfer the load to beam if you want to assign the one way slab you can use this membrane type of slab you can use this membrane type of slab again for uh, regular buildings for regular slab supported by framing uh, beams for non high rise structure we can use membrane so we can design them in excel sheet manually okay so for no, uh, for regular slab uh, no, non high rise structure we can use mem membrane so those slabs we can design in 
what uh, manually using excel sheets okay uh, for other scenario like flat slab uh, high rise structure so we we can use uh, shell thin type of slab okay that uh, those slabs we are going to design in uh, finite element based software like csi safe and all okay so this this is the difference between 